congratulations to you on, on your selection. This is a historic selection, and, and your tenure will come after another historic tenure. So I'd like to ask, uh, to begin with, do you view this as a continuation or a, a change in, in the way things will be done around here? How do you view what your job will be? Well, I'm really excited for it. It's a great opportunity. We did the, the math, and it's 172 years that this department has been here. I'm the first female chief, so that says something. Um, but I, you know, thinking about this, I think it says a lot about our city and our department more than anything, because it's a great opportunity. Everybody wants to move to like, you know, where they could potentially, you know, reach in the heights of their career. So I've been fortunate enough to do that, but I would not have gotten here if I didn't have these great opportunities and a culture and really a city that uh, values diversity and creates opportunities and, um, you know, a professional career path for everybody. So thinking about it, I think the city and the department really need to get credit for, for creating that for me. Um, obviously a lot of hard work that went into that, um, but just the fact that with hard work and the right environment you can be successful like that, that has been, you know, really um, just uh, a great feeling and I love working for an agency like that. Uh, looking through your career, uh, you've made a career in uh, areas that have been typically male dominated. So uh, as a woman in, in male dominated fields like police work, for instance, uh, how do you think that that informs your leadership? Well, I think that everybody has a different set of skills, um, whether you're a woman or whether you're a male. Clearly, um, you know, I think that you have to nav navigate things a little bit differently um, when you're maybe the only one in the room. But I do think that having a positive attitude, really being able to work as a team, having um, a robust set of skills and really working on your technical proficiencies helps that quite a bit. And so um, I think a lot of it is in your attitude, but I also, would say that I've worked um, around some amazing men and women in this department that have mentored me and coached me and have always been very, very welcoming. So it's been easier than probably, you know, somebody might suspect. And I'm, you know, very lucky to have experienced that. Uh, this also, though, comes at a time when there are some incredible challenges for uh, police departments around the country. Uh, what do you view as some of the biggest challenges as you step into this new role? Sure. I mean, it's not a secret that law enforcement is incredibly challenging. And we've had, you know, two years of, you know, very much a public outcry about the relationship between communities and law enforcement. But I think it's an opportunity for all law enforcement agencies, not just the Sacramento Police Department, to do better. And I can tell you that I think that we are really on the right track here at the department under Chief Han's leadership. He's been a mentor and a coach to me, and um, I really value the decisions that he's made and the path that he's put us on as an agency. And so continuing what's working and continuing to build and develop that is really going to be job number one. And there's still a lot of pain in this community around the death of Stephon Clark. Uh, can you talk about some of your experiences uh, in, in this department and, and navigating some of, some of the difficult years that we've seen in Sacramento? Well, I think it's been difficult just as a human being, quite honestly, in the last two years, um, regardless of where the challenges lie. I would say um, there have been a number of... Um, you know, really life-changing events that have happened uh, for our communities, our cities, um, our nation, quite frankly. And I think what we do now is we need to find a path forward and how we, you know, really um, come to some changes that are going to make a difference. And so I think looking back um, at everything that we have all experienced over, you know, the last few years in particular, now it's about coming together and finding a way forward. Can you talk about the importance of diversity in the ranks? And I mean, that could be different kinds of diversity, certainly. How do you view it? Sure. Well, I I think it's very important. Um, I'm I think diversity is important not just for the sake of diversity, but because it brings a diversity of thought, of experience, and background. And any organization, whether it's law enforcement or not, is healthier when you have um, people with really mixed experiences and backgrounds. I also think that when you're in public service and public government, it's really important to reflect your community. And so um, there obviously are. 
very well-known conversations about making sure that police departments reflect the communities that they serve. And I can tell you I'm very um, blessed and honored to be able to make some changes here over the last few years um, in conjunction with the team um, that have led to increasing our diversity. For example, we were able to establish a pipeline hiring program, and I know that um, we have a lot of men and women, young men and women in the community that would like a career path into law enforcement, but sometimes it's not so easy. So we've created some positions, some entry-level positions as student trainee, community service officer that really lead to either a sworn career or a professional path career, and those have been extremely successful, and uh, we're really seeing a positive result in um, our gender and our ethnic diversity. And you remember with the recession, you know, about 10 or 12 years ago, Ago, we had to lay off a number of employees, and those were our youngest and our most diverse employees. So we really are still recovering from that. So these are great opportunities to be able to bring people from the community into our organization. And uh, finally, what do you view as some of your top priorities as you take over this division? Well, so my first priority really right now is to continue to lead the operations division. That is a full-time, very busy job, patrol and communications. But over the next few weeks, as uh, Chief Hahn transitions, I'm going to really spend as much time as I can with him and the new leadership team and work on setting a path forward for the department. Thanks. Great idea. Thank you. Um, Make that connection with the community. I sure. Mean, it seems like that's pretty important to you. Oh, it has to be because Sacramento is not that big of a city, really. You know, we all think of it as this major city. And granted, there are 2 million people, like 2.1, I should, you know, in the um, general, like, vicinity. But um, you having worked here, I don't know if you've experienced it, but there's very few places that you can go without running into somebody you know. And I think that if we can really look at our community like as neighbors, we do a lot better. And I know that um, if you're trying to affect change in the community and if you're trying to really work on reducing harm, you have to know the community that you're serving and you have to have a personal relationship with them. Right. So yeah, I absolutely believe that. And so is that also, is that how you build trust with communities that haven't had the best relationship with well, it's one of the ways, but I think that there's also, um, you know, we we need to build that trust through a number of other things, and it can be large-scale programming. It can be, um, you know, different um, different things that we provide to the community. But honestly, from a law enforcement perspective, it's the service that we give. I think, and uh, if you can have positive contact and positive interactions with people every day, that's how you really build trust. And so, it needs to be consistent. And um, it needs to really challenge the narrative that is out there about law enforcement and these long-standing, you know, challenges that law enforcement has in the community. And we really need to, you know, be the, the change agent there.